Welcome back to my channel. It is Julia. What's up guys? So first and foremost, it is literally 102 degrees right now where I live. I love it. So I'm literally sweating, um, not wearing makeup. I didn't even wash my face today. Just wearing a headband, chilling, you know, as I'm wearing a hoodie, but it's fine. It's cool, you know. Just wanted to make this video really quick because... The last time I uploaded a video was a vlog and it was a water park vlog and I have been doing so much thinking since then and I just want to come to you guys and kind of talk about it a little bit, what I've been thinking, all of that stuff. So first and foremost, I just want to say that I have been struggling a lot with anxiety and I don't know if it's, I'm going to do a whole video, but I've recently been on birth control and I don't know if that is messing with me, with my hormones or what, but I have literally been in this state of just anxiety and depression and just, it has literally hit me so bad this month and I feel like you can't really tell that from my videos and that's why I'm coming here and talking to you guys because it is a real thing and people go through it and I want you guys to know that you're not alone and I just made a few decisions that I'm going to share with you guys and maybe you guys can give me a little bit of input. I don't know. I'm just going to speak my mind. I feel like this past month, I just, I don't even want to cry. I feel like I have been slowly losing myself and I feel like I'm not me. I feel like a lot of me is what other people's opinion are. So a lot of what I have been doing and a lot of what I feel and I feel like I've been letting people dictate my life. And I feel like I literally lost myself. I lost what my hopes, my dreams, what I wanted to do. And at some point, it hits you and you're like, what am I doing, you know? Um, as many of you guys know, I do suffer with extreme anxiety and depression. And I just feel like it's just been hitting me so much harder than it usually does. And... I make my videos and I love making videos and I feel like sometimes I just get into a funk where I'm like, why am I even doing this? You know, like, why am I doing, like, why am I, I, just, I don't know how to explain it. I just get so confused and I'm like, what's the point? Like, I'm not going to be a YouTuber. I'm not going to be able to do this. Like, and that's so sad because I've never been the person to think that. I've always tried to achieve my dreams and my goals and I feel like honestly this past two years has been so hard on me there there's been so much bad but there's been so much good and I don't even know like where I would be if I didn't have my boyfriend he is the most kind loving person he puts up with me with everything going on in my life and a lot of you guys have been asking you know a lot of people ask me like why don't you live with your boyfriend why all this stuff and a lot of different factors just go into that that I don't know that I'm ready to fully talk about right now but obviously he has a job where he lives I do have a job here but I do not make as much money as he does um if you guys don't know, my boyfriend is 10 years older than me. So right there, there is a big age gap. And we work, we do, and it doesn't affect us. But at the same time, he, I don't want to say he's supposed to be in like our world, supposed to be further along in his life than I am. And I have definitely been so low on myself that I've been so discouraged to try new things, 
to achieve new things. May that be college, may that be, you know, a new job. I have literally been so discouraged that I just don't do the things that I should do. And I, I love my boyfriend. We love each other. It's not that we don't love each other. Um, it's just the mindset that I'm in right now is not a healthy one. And it's not a mindset that you should be that you should be in. And I feel like I need to work on myself. I need to save money. I need to do things for myself before we can live together and before we can be as one. Now, does that mean that we love each other any less? No, we don't. We don't love each other any less. We love each other plenty, just enough. We want everything in life that, you know, every couple wants. We want to get married. We want to have kids. We want a home. We want all these things, but it's like, there are certain people that just have these problems. And unfortunately, right now, I feel like I'm the biggest barrier in our relationship because it's not healthy. I don't want to cry because my face gets really red. I feel like it's not right and healthy to be feeling this way, you know? Like, I need to achieve things. I need to be my own person. And that's not, every, everybody has different opinions. I know some people say like, no, like you should still move together. You should do all that. But like, he wants me to be healthy mentally and I want to be healthy mentally. And we both struggle with anxiety. We both struggle with every, you know, things that normal people have. But just this past few months, I feel like it's just hit me so hard and it's made me so unmotivated. And my boyfriend has been saving money to have a future together so we can live together, so we can have kids, so we can have a life together. And I can't even explain to you how grateful I am for him. Like, I can't even explain to you. I wanna go forward, I wanna do school, I want to have a nice career, I wanna have a nice family, a nice home. I want all of that. And I think that I have been just in such a bad and toxic mindset and it's like it's not good to feel that way and if you're feeling that way like you can't do something for yourself or you start you know questioning oh can I do this or whatever it may be please like know that that's not true like that there's gonna be a lot of changing in the next month the next few months, there's going to be a lot of change in me, in my channel, in so many different things. And I'm sorry that I have not been doing the best I could do. Because the truth is, guys, I'm at 255 subscribers, I believe it is. If I believed in myself and if I, not that I don't want it because I do want it. But if I believed in myself and I was not in this state where I felt like anything I did was stupid or not, you know, beneficial, I could probably be up there with so many more YouTubers. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but if I put in the work and the effort and the content that I know I can create, I guarantee you that I would have at least a thousand subscribers by now. And it's sad because I want something so bad and I want to be better and I want to live with my boyfriend and I want all these things but it's like when you have something in your head that is telling you that you can't do something it takes over you and as much as you want something it becomes not enough and I really hope that no one else is struggling with this but I know that someone out there is struggling with this and if you are you're not alone and I'm here with you and I understand and I'm not trying to blame any of this on my past but I have had a rough 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 past six years of my life and I'm not saying that my life is terrible or it's the worst or Someone's life is worse than mine. I get that. But just because someone's life is worse than mine or they have more hardships doesn't make my feelings invalid and it doesn't make your feelings invalid either. So please understand that and know that. And I get questions all of the time. Why my boyfriend and I don't live together? 
why we're not engaged already. We've been together for over two years. Why all these things? And it's like, we love each other. We're there. Like, we want to be engaged to each other. Michael wants to propose to me. We want kids together. Like, everything that we want we doesn't make it any more invalid. And he just wants me to be happy. And sometimes... As much as we love somebody, sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes inside of us, there's other things that we need in order to be happy. And for me, it's I need to succeed. And I want to do YouTube and I want to get a good career. And I want a family and I want all these things that are so important to me. And I'm 19 years old. Like, I'm not saying that I need to, you know, be perfect. But I also feel like I've slacked these past few years and there are so many things that I regret and there are so many things that I wish I could turn back time but the truth is is that I can't you can't turn back time and you have to work with what you have now so I just want you guys to know that a lot of it is going to be changing and I am so thankful for my boyfriend and the people around me who do love me and I just it's like, it's so hard to know that you're failing at life. Like, to know that you're failing at life, like, it's really sad. And it, it's just, it's rough. And I don't even want to cry because I know that I'm better than this. I know that I'm better than where I am. And I know that I do work and I do you know, the best that I can, but the truth is, is that I can do better, and I know that I can do better, and get through this, and we can do it together, and I really want to start improving my life, and even with social media, I have not posted on Instagram, and I don't even know how long, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I have not posted on Instagram in a very long time, which is not like me, and Snapchat, I barely post Snapchats anymore, you know, once in a blue moon, but I've just been so, not that I'm caught up on my physical appearance because I'm not caught up on that. I'm caught up on me. I'm caught up on my personality. I'm caught up with my life. I just got to a point where I was looking myself in the mirror and I was like, this isn't you. But that's going to be the end of this video. I really hope you guys somewhat enjoyed and I'm sorry that I rambled and I just wanted to get this off my chest because there are going to be a lot of changes in my channel and I just want you guys to know that it's not because I'm, you know, turning into some bad person. I'm trying to make myself better. I'm truly trying to be a better person. I'm trying to achieve my dreams and my goals. And I hope you guys can understand that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. I've been moving calm, no start, no trouble on me Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me Don't pull up at 6am to cut on me You know how I like it when you loving on me